Hi Viola players, I'm going to help you with your notes on your D and your A string. Reading music isn't something that just automatically comes to you, it takes some practice and usually when you practice you start with coming up with some ways of remembering the notes until they're memorized. So. I don't, I have a staff that I drew. I don't have a clef sign over here because I don't know if this is going to show up backwards. So I'm going to try to do everything without writing. So on your staff, you'd usually have an alto clef. And if we're going to start on the D string, we have to start on where our D is and we have to start where our A is. And I, when I first started learning how to read alto clef, I started by learning where my open strings are. So open string D is on your third space right here and your open string A I remember this one because it's above the staff it starts here just hanging out there right on top of the staff above the staff that's your A string the D string is on that space there so for viola um, I have lots of cool acronyms remembering the note names on the staff. Unfortunately, when you get to A string, you end up being above the staff. So that one's kind of a memorized thing. So starting here, the very bottom, we always start from the bottom and go up. My acronym for the spaces is Giant Babies Destroy France. It's funny, isn't it? I think it's funny because I got giant babies upstairs. Okay, so we have G at the bottom. That's your open G. B, D, and F. Now for the lines, we also have to come up with a cool acronym. And my cool acronym for the lines is Fat Apes Can't Eat Grapes. So if we're trying to figure out what this next note is here in our on our staff. It's a line note. So fat apes can't eat. It's an E. So then we have a space note. We know it's because it's not there's no line that goes through it. That one's a giant babies destroy France. It's gonna be an F. And let's try, I'm gonna try to sneak one in here. There's a line that goes through it, so it's a line note. So, fat apes can't eat grapes. G. So these words, the beginning of each word is the letter for the musical term. Now we guys are talking about A string, and this is where it gets complicated for viola players. Um, when you're going through the musical alphabet, remember that it is an alphabet. So. If we're starting an A, just above the staff, our next note, we have to have a line through it, which is called a ledger line, to give it a little boost to get keep going up. And that one line note there is your B. If we have one line and it's sitting on top of that line, that's a C. And when you have two lines like this, and the line goes through the note, that's D on your A string. So this is where it's tricky for viola players. Um, you, have, you know your A is above the staff, but these three ones are the ones you have to memorize. B being the one that just has a line through it, C the one that's sitting on top of the line, and D which has two ledger lines and the line goes through it. So I want you to take a look at this, think about it a little bit. If you have any questions, type it in the chat box now because we'll be live. Um, and if you feel comfortable with it, go ahead and try the must do again and see if you improve your score because that's my goal. I'm going to keep helping you this year so you feel good about all of your notes. We'll see you in the chat box.